With the temperature already over 85 degrees, solo hunter Willie Edwards is preparing for another scorching day. But in his rush to fill tags yesterday, he learned some important lessons. Although he pulled in 18 alligators, they came at a price. How y'all A busted motor. And a bout with heat exhaustion that nearly pushed him over the limit. It's just been one thing after another, man. It's just unreal. But that's life, I guess. I mean, you just go up, ups and downs. We just got to get back recuperated and start over again. I see that rope tight on that tree right there. The way it's stretched out there, that's a good gator. While the heat makes Willie's job harder, it also gives him an advantage. Alligators are more active in warm temperatures and more likely to bite Willie's bait. Something with a little size to it. This is a real big gator. Might be bigger than what I think he is. He's about to roll. Whoa, 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 he got my foot. I mean, we got a fighter this morning. I mean, a hand burner too, boy. He put some blisters. Big data. Get me wet this morning, boy. Won't you bite me, boy? I'm ready to take you out of your hurt, boy. That's what I'm talking about. At over nine feet, this beast will net Willie more than $150. A good nine and a half for the long gator, boy. That's a nice gator right there. By yourself and trying to keep the gun loaded, keep the boat straight, tag your gator. Takes a lot of work, especially on one fella. So far, what we got in the boat right now, I mean, that's a good day. But I still got 20 some hooks left. Time to get through. Yeah, I see a big old ball of bubbles right here. I'm pretty sure he's big, waiting bubbles off. Don't get off, big boy. Yeah. Big game. Over 11 foot. We're ready now. Do what you want now, buddy. We're gonna take you out. He ain't pulling no more on that one. Oh. Hey, this gate is probably 12 foot. And ain't no way me by myself is gonna load this gate. I don't weigh but 138 pounds. That thing right there weighs a little over 500. Ain't no way, dude. <clears throat> Ain't no way. I was doing all I can do, trying to load a big one by yourself. That's where it gets you at. You know what I mean? Straining on it so hard to get it in. Ain't no way. I just wasn't in the shape to be pulling on something like that. Just got to think how I can load him, how I can load him. I see a tree. I'm going to try something. I'm thinking something here. I'm gonna just have to make a uh, pull knot where I can hitch him up in that tree, get him high enough where I can get his front legs over the side of the boat. Once I get his front legs over the side of the boat, I can handle him. That's big enough to hold him. Now, here's the fun part. <sighs> now, I got it around the tree. Willie creates a swamp style pulley system. Get this around his head. To winch the gator up over the side of his boat. I hope this rope hold him. I can get him up maybe a little high where I can try to get some of the weight off of him. Got him that far up. Let's see now. I think I got him. Oh! I mean, he's about to sink the boat. Oh! What a crocodile. What a crocodile. This 11-foot giant is worth almost $200. It's too much work for one fella like that. I got him to buy myself, too. Yes, indeed, boy. Some good and nice. Willie reaps the benefits of a long, hot day hunting solo. How many people come in with three like that? Willie's put over $1,700 in his wallet, but for him, it means much more than just a payday. 
I'll never get no regular job or sit behind a desk. And I've been commercial fishing all my life, and that's where I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay in the swamp, and probably where I pass away, die when I go six feet under in the swamp.